Okay, let's write the... What? How did you know? I gotta get out of here. Let's add an advanced block to Minecraft. And we find ourselves in IntelliJ once more. And in this tutorial, we are going to add a custom advanced block to the game. Similar to the advanced item, we'll go to the block package and create a new package called custom. And inside of that, we're going to create a new Java class called the status block. In a similar way where we end the advanced items with the item, we're going to end the advanced blocks with the word block. And let's then extend this block here and create constructor matching super. The blocks offer us plenty of things to override, so plenty of methods that we can override here. And this is not the only thing because the abstract block also offers us a few more things to override. So the block is actually even more complicated and can do even more things than the item. So if I put in override here, then as you can see, there is a whole bunch of stuff. Now, what is really important, all of these deprecated methods that you see here, usually that means you shouldn't use them. That actually is not how what it means in both the block and the item class. You can only override them. However, you shouldn't call those methods. So that's the, really the difference here. And we can actually see we want to use the onUse method. So this is called when we right-click a block. Now, the crazy thing about this is that this is actually called four times. And uh, what four times? Well, it's called twice on the client, one with the main hand and one with the off hand, and it's called twice on the server, one with the main hand and one with the off hand. So we're just going to output a few things. So what we'll do is we'll simply say if not world dot is client. So if we're not on the client, then what we're going to do is we're going to do a bunch of stuff. And if we are on the client, we're also going to do a bunch of stuff that's a little bit different. I basically only want to output a few things. So in the server, we're going to say, okay, if the hand that is being used is going to be hand dot main hand, then we will simply do get the block pass of the of the player. So player block pass equals player dot get block pass. And we will simply output this. So we'll say player dot send message similar to what we've seen before in the advanced item. And then we'll say server. So this, this is output by the server UR. And then we will say player dot get display name dot get string. Uh, get string. There you go. And this will then do plus. And then let's line break here plus at position. And then we'll say the following position. We will have layer block pass dot get x plus comma plus layer layer block pass dot get y plus comma plus layer block layer block layer block pass dot get z or z plus and then a closing parentheses and then let's not forget the false here let's actually format this a little bit differently. There you go. Now you can at least read it a little bit. This goes back to the last time where I actually said that, you know, if we're going to use this uh, sort of thing with the block pass multiple times, we should probably have a util method for that. But fair enough, it, it's going to be fine. I, I think that this is going to be fine. This is only going to happen for the main hand. So this is only going to happen once. And then what I actually want to do uh, down here is I actually want to say if hand equals uh, hand dot main hand, then I also want to output something. So let's just copy this once and put it in here. And then we're going to say something like, for example, we're going to say this is the client, of course, right? So then we know that we're on the client. This is the client. And then it says main hand. And then we'll take this. We actually don't want to duplicate it. I actually want to copy it. And I'm going to put an else statement in here. And then I'm going to output it here as well. And then we're going to see that this is the offhand. So this is uh, one of the ways that I will basically show that yeah, in, indeed, this is going to be called four times. And we can then see this because this is going to be called once with the main hand, once with the off hand. And then the, on the server, it's only going to happen once because we specifically checked for the main hand. Now, this is actually all that we need for the on use method. This isn't like the most incredibly useful thing in this case. It's really the idea that counts, right? So if you have the on use method, uh, then you can start to really, well, get going. You can put in almost anything that you want in here and it's going to execute when you right click the block. So of course we still need to register the block. So in our mod blocks class, let's um, also actually get the block in there. So let's just uh, copy the Ruby block. This is going to be the status underscore block. And this is also going to be the status underscore block, there you go. And, and then instead of a normal block, this is of course the status block, there you go. Apart from that, I'm actually happy with the rest here. Of course, we still need to add the JSON files. Ah, 
Yes, let's uh, add those. So the JSON files are pretty much standard JSON files. Of course, all available for a download in the description below in the GitHub repository. Uh, let's also add the translation here so we don't forget that. That is going to be the status block and that is the status block. There you go. And then the block model, similar to what we've seen before, just a normal block model. The textures are all going to be one texture. The item model simply points back again to the block model here. So as you can see, once again, it simply points back to the block model and then the texture, which is of course also available for download for you instead of the textures block folder right here. And yeah, that's, that's pretty much all that we need for the status block to be implemented. So let's see if it works. All right, we are finding ourselves in Minecraft and as you can see, the status block has been added. So if I right click it, as you can see, it works perfectly fine. It shows me the position. So if I move around, you can see that the position of course changes as well because well, I mean, I'm changing position. The name here is given in the development environment because of course I can't log into my Minecraft account in that moment. But yeah, that's um, that works exactly how we wanted it to. As you can see, it gets called twice on the client, one for the main hand and one for the off hand, and the server only gets called once. Similar to the advanced items with the advanced blocks, there are so many things that you can do. It is sometimes down to you to just try out a whole bunch of stuff. Just take a look at a few of those methods that you can override, and in no time you are going to implement something that's probably really, really freaking cool. But that would be it for this tutorial right here. I hope you found this useful and you learned something new. If you did, I would of course appreciate a like and I will see you in the next tutorial. So yeah.